My name is Sky, and I have an idea for the History Channel for a new show, which I want to say would be a like a reality show competition of fight choreographers. Uh, I was inspired by the Sci-Fi Channel's uh, Face Off program, and what I'm thinking for the History Channel is get a bunch of fight choreographers and say, okay, we have panel of judges. Uh, and experts and, and people who they know all about fighting styles and ways people you know combated each other throughout different periods of time throughout history. Now here you have a, a large pool of stud people you can pick from, and each round is a a scenario or a time setting that is given, and it's up to the fight choreographer to come up with using you know, two to three or four uh, combatants, uh, you know, come up with a, a fight that is original, that captures the historical elements of the time period that it's set in, uh, that has tension and drama. You know, so it's not a one-sided fight, it's that, you know, it's like it, it goes back and forth. Uh, and then on top of that, the creativity you know, comes into that. Uh, so for example, if you had a medieval setting, and you know, maybe uh, three people. So you know, the fight starts out with you know, one guy and then another guy uh, going at it, and one of those guys is a weaker you know, individual and is sort of you know, losing at the beginning, but then the second individual comes in and helps, and so the tides turn and the fight turns, and it's like based on the the setting they're at and whatever sort of props and ideas that you know, they can bring in, or weapons that they would have on hand. Uh, and so that way, whatever the setting is, you know, and if it's a medieval setting, then okay, uh, they, they would only have access to these types of weapons. And then on top of that, it's they would have to use weapons in a, a way that is conducive to that environment. And, you know, I mean, you could set it up so that uh, each challenge, each round takes three days. So the first day, you you say to the contestants like, okay, uh, you're going to do something in medieval Japan, and so with that, uh, the first day the contestants say, okay, I'm going to you know get my uh, stunt people together, you know, from this pool of people that I can you know choose from, um, and they don't necessarily you know so they don't necessarily have to be uh, you know, Asian or, you know, like, look a certain way, you know, it's just, you know, get the person that can work with that fight choreographer. And it's all about, you know, putting on the costume, giving them the weapon, and saying, okay, you know, can you do this? And I think even to the point of, you know, maybe give them makeup, but don't worry about the makeup, you know, but, you know, they have to be able to move in, in the outfit, and that way, you know, make it realistic. But, you know, so day one is they, they get the people together, and they research, and they figure out, okay, what would they know? What do they do? Day two, they um, map out, they plot how they're going to do the fight sequence. And I think you could even maybe figure out, like, okay, how do you get the camera uh, or the cameramen in there? Um, because then it's a question of would you allow them to have a sort of one continuous sequence? Uh, or would it be a you know, they, they do have a camera crew working with them, and so that they are going to spend either day two or t day three just recording and map, you know, step by step the fight. Uh, and that way they can go and change and tweak things as they go along. I, I know, it's kind of, a, you know, that's not quite solid in my mind, but I, I think that it would be very fascinating and interesting. Because then, so by the end of day three, you finish the editing, and you present to uh, the panel of judges and the experts, uh, okay, this is my finished product. Um, so, like if you had, you know, ancient Rome, um, and said, okay, you know, ancient Rome, but that could be any scenario. It could be, you know, Romans fighting Egyptians, Rome, Romans fighting uh, Greeks, or whoever, in any sort of, you know, context or frame, unless it was specifically, you know, narrowed down. But I think, you know, the wider you made, you said, look, it has to be one sort of time, place, or individual. That'd be interesting. Um, 
and like I said, so like by the third day, you come in and you present to the judges, you know, okay, this is the finished product, this is a little action film, and you go from there. And I'm, because I think part of it, part of the way you can approach the contestants with it is say, uh, you can use this as a way to either open a movie or to pitch a movie set in a time period. And you, you want to display your skills with your knowledge of combat and uh, you know, getting the audience's attention. You know, it's so having those three elements uh, that I mentioned earlier, you know, coming together. And I, I think it's interesting that you can just have so many different uh, time periods available there, and you can say, okay, a 1950s street fight in the Bronx, you know, between you know, amongst, you know between the Jets and the you know, whatever West Side Story, you know, just you know, go at it. Um, and but you can go to anywhere, and you know, Native Americans fighting you know, before the Europeans came, to uh, you know, Chinese, to Africa, uh, even you know, Stone Age man, and you know, just any sort of area or, or time frame. And uh, I, I would love to watch a program like that, and especially if you gave the contestants the chance to try as many different scenarios and as many different combinations. So let them bring a woman in uh, as part of the, co the combatants that are going at it. Um, I, I think uh, it would be just very, very fascinating. But then on top of that, don't eliminate anybody. You know, don't have like, oh, round one, and you know, we're going to, you leave. You know, round two, you leave. No, keep everybody together. Say who's a winner, who's a loser, like who's a, the best and who's the worst, but let those people stay in. Uh, because it's if the people have the moxie, have the skill and the talent to enter the competition, keep them around. Because they may not do good in one scenario, but they may do amazing in another scenario. And I think that is a really great way to just to show people's talents. And then you just say throughout the whole competition, okay, you were the best, you were the worst. At the end of it, but then you tally up the points and say, okay, you know, so and so may have had like one or two good shows. But it was this person who always came in second, who was just consistently doing the best, and that's the person that wins, you know, or the person that you know, oh, they they uh, just failed in two of these, but they still win because they just consistently had just some of the best, you know, uh, fights out there. They just captured these elements that used all these different creative ideas. So, you know, kind of a you know random idea, but uh, oh, and. Uh, History Channel, uh, I'm available. <laughs> I can help you guys with it. Or I, I would love to work with your creative uh, you know, team of producers to help come up with ideas and scenarios for this uh, program. So, thank you.